All right, Liz. Well, let's talk about this weather forecast today. We are heating up. Yeah, we're heating up and the humidity is rising today into tomorrow, which is contributing to the possibility of us seeing some scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow I've labeled one to watch for the possibility of a few severe storms. However, keep in mind, I've talked about this before, we'll deal with scattered thunderstorms. Only a few of those could get to strong to severe status. The ones that do, we're likely looking at stronger wind and the possibility of hail across the region. So let's dive into the details. This is the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for tomorrow when it comes to the severe risk. We're not the only area that will likely have some sort of severe weather. Although at this point, it looks like storms begin to develop in northern Indiana and push off into Ohio. They strengthen going into Ohio. That's where the environment's a lot more favorable. So I'm calling our area almost a transition area where we go from kind of the beginning stages of thunderstorms to strengthening going into Ohio. So watch as we go through the day today. Only a few passing clouds, not a whole lot of action today. Things look to be really nice. Now we go into tomorrow morning. It's about 630 to 7 in the morning at this point. Just a few passing clouds. Things stay really quiet and dry up until noon. Now we go into the afternoon hours. This is late afternoon and into the evening, a little closer to just about three o'clock at this point. And you're noticing a few thunderstorms starting to pop up. At this point, it looks east of I-69, looks like the best potential to see some of the stronger storms that could form. And again, like I mentioned, this continues to push off into Ohio. But this is not a widespread severe threat by any means. Only a few storms will be at that stronger end. And this doesn't last for long either. In fact, by the time most people are getting ready to sit down for dinner, that's when we should start to see this wrap up. So this is not going to be an overnight thing by any means. And again, we are in that slight risk, only a level two of five for severe weather for tomorrow. So the greatest risk for any of those thunderstorms tomorrow could be damaging winds. So today's a really good day that you just might want to bring stuff inside for the possibility of a thunderstorm in your region for tomorrow. And then as we go towards tomorrow, hail is still a weaker possibility. The weakest looks to be tornadoes. It's very low, not zero, but still very low in our area. The humidity is all centered down to our south. You can see those darker green colors. That is all starting to move into our area as southerly winds kick up today. So we will build in the humidity today just a touch compared to what we had yesterday and build in it even more for tomorrow. Temperatures by your noon hour make it up near 78 degrees and we'll see highs anywhere from low to mid 80s across the region for today. Tomorrow with those thunderstorms coming through, it's all getting pushed in by a cold front. Before the cold front will be humid and we'll see temperatures even pushing into the upper 80s before we eventually start to wind back down into the low 80s for Friday. The whole rest of the week looks to be really nice. We'll have a beautiful sunny weekend in store Saturday and into Sunday. Temperatures in the low 80s and we slowly start to warm up just a little bit more going into early next work week where we go back into the mid 80s and all in all it looks to be gorgeous. Okay, Liz. Oh my gosh. So tomorrow really is the only day where it's kind of going to be tricky. Exactly. Oh, and only a short time period at that too. So this is definitely not like some major severe weather setups we've seen yeah. before by any means, but a few of those storms could have the potential for strong weather. So yeah. that's why we're keeping an eye out. All right. Something to something to watch. Liz, thank you very much.